Hello people of the internet, it is me, Anya Baby, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the new iOS 14 widgets and how to like decorate your phone and stuff like that. And I'll be showing you some of my favorite apps on my phone. So it's going to be a what's on my iPhone iOS update tutorial video kind of thing. And before we get into this video, don't forget to check out all of my social media. There's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat if you're feeling a little spicy, if you feel, if you feel me. Without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into it. Okay, so what's up, y'all? Y'all are looking at the home screen of my iPhone 8 Plus. And so what I'm going to show you today is how to get these little widget thingies I have on my screen. And for this, we're going to use the app Widget Smith down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the app and then I already have some set up, but they have three sizes for widgets. They have small, then they have medium, and then they have large. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So right here, you're going to add, push add small widget. Then you're going to click on it, click on it again. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says photo. You're going to push select photo, choose photo. Then you're going to go down. I'm going to pick this one. And then you're going to tap out of it, go back, and then push save. I see it says small, and then right here it says small widget number 17. So what we're going to do is, we're going to click out of it, and then you're going to slide over, and I already made a new page. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this plus symbol up here. Then we're going to scroll all the way down, and we're going to go to widget smith. And then we're going to tap on small because that's the size that we picked. And we're going to push add widget. And then while it's still in the edit mode, we're going to push widget. And then we're going to go down to the number that you just made. So I made number 17. And we're going to click out of it. And there you go. So that's how you get the creative ones. But if you want some of the other ones that I have on here, like how I have the weather right here and like how I have my notes or how I have Apple music right here or how I have my battery settings we're going I'm going to show you how to do that as well we're going to slide all the way over and then you're going to press hold and you're going to push the plus symbol again then you're going to see right here how it says right how it says notes and that's how you add your notes but then when you click on it, it's going to ask you what size you want again, small, medium, or large. And you can do that with your clock, with your screen time, with tips, with Apple Music, with Apple TV. And then, and all you have to do is click on it, choose what size you want, push add widget, and then it pops up on your home screen. Now, I also have this widget right here, which is from a different app called color widget right here and it's pretty much the same thing but it only has times and dates you can either have it in calendar form or you can just have it like simple like this and so you do pretty much the same thing you hold and you push the plus symbol up here then you scroll down it says color widgets right here and then you you know choose the size again you push add widget and then pops up on your home screen. So there you go. Now, I'm going to give you like a brief preview of what's on my iPhone. We're not going to go through like all the basic apps. We're going to go through like my favorite ones. So over here, you know, we have the green tab and we have like messages, cash app, you know, yada, yada, yada. Then over here, we have Apple Music, which immaculate, immaculate. If you haven't seen my playlist video, go watch it. This is all the songs that I put in that video right here. So there's that. And then over here we have Pinterest, which I use not for everything, but I just really like the pictures. They're so pretty. And so, you know, like that's what I use for like my wallpaper. And this is what I got my widget pictures on. So I don't know if you can follow people on Pinterest, but, you know, follow me on Pinterest. You feel me? It's always a good time over here. Next, I'm going to show you. Okay, well, this is the app Fonto, and this is what I use to 
edit my thumbnails, and then do like my little Insta stories for when I post a new video and stuff like that. So that's the app that I use. And then I think that's it. You know, we all have, we have YouTube right here, clearly. And then this is the app that I use for school. It's called Canvas. And, you know, all my online classes are on here. And then we're going to slide over here. And then we have my notes. And, you know, the top one, that's just, like, that's where I put, like, my Insta captions before I post them. So, like, I, like, draft them out of my notes first. And then down here we have my video ideas. And then we have, like, some random stuff that I need to do. And then we have Snapchat. Feel free to add me on Snapchat. I don't use it. But feel free to add me anyway. And then over here, we just have, like, Twitter and the weather and, you know, Widget Smith and stuff like that. So, you see me. Follow me on Twitter, you know. Bada bing, bada boom, bada like. You see? See? There you go. Follow me on Twitter. Then over here, we're just going to scroll all the way over here. Next, we have Instagram. And feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. Then we have Twitch. That's where I watch like my. That's where I watch streamers at. But I only really watch Berlizzi when he streams. And then I have iMovie, and that's how I ed I edit my intros on my phone, and I use iMovie. So that's what I use that for. And then over here we have Chef Town. It's this little restaurant game. It's cute or whatever, but you know, so you just come over here, you cook food, and you know, you play stuff over here. Look, I just got a new, I think that's like a smoothie maker or something like that. Click, you take orders, yada, 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 delivery, deliver, boom, bow, bing. So that's that app. And then over here we have photos, Google Photos. Google Photos has saved my life because my iCloud storage is already full. So when it's since it's full like that, I put all of my other videos and my photos and stuff like that in Google Photos. That way I always have them. So that's extremely important. Then you have Mold IV, and that's what I use to um, edit some of my thumbnails as well. And then we have Prequel, which I don't really use that anymore. So there's that. And then that's about it. So that's what's on my iPhone, guys. All right, guys. I hope I taught you how to get the new iOS 14 up widgets. And I showed you a little bit of what's on my phone. So without further ado, before we wrap up this video, don't forget to check out all of my social medias. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, if you're feeling spicy. And don't forget to create your own happiness. And I'll see you the next time I decide to embarrass myself in front of the internet. Au revoir! No, I'm kidding. Uh -huh.